been the little street puppy that was dumped. If it wasn't for all these people, we wouldn't have her, which breaks my heart to think anything bad happening to her. She means the world and more to us. Lottie actually was initially found by a couple of tourists who were here on holiday. She was a tiny little puppy who'd either been dumped or somehow separated from her mother and other siblings. So she was completely on her own and she was like a big fluff ball, really innocent looking. So they managed to clean her up and they snuck her into their hotel room, but they were leaving to go back home and they desperately needed somewhere to find her. So obviously Lottie wouldn't have survived on her own. She's a tiny little girl, a little puppy on her own. She would have had to scavenge her food. The chances were really you know against her but luckily for the tourists they found her I dropped her in we said to take her one of the very first dogs in the sanctuary we said to take her for a week to see if we could find her a home and because things were so busy I wasn't able to find her a home straight away but after about a month or two a lovely couple came all the way from England and they wanted to help out at the land you know helping walk the dogs and cleaning up after the dogs and you know general volunteering and that's when they fell in love with Lottie. I could see them hanging around with her and then slowly they sort of, you know, a couple of probing questions and sort of, you know, what, what you know, what's she like? Have you got plans for her? Where's she going to go? And that's when I could kind of tell they were very interested. So they immediately said they wanted to bring Lottie home with them to the UK, which for me was like winning the lottery. A wonderful result for, for Lottie, a wonderful result for them. But she, as she's one of the first dogs that we were sending, there was a lot of logistics to find out and, you know, how are we actually going to do this? So took a few months but we got there and Lottie actually stayed in foster for a couple of the last months and then she started her epic journey to the UK and now when I see her over there I'm just over the moon I, I still can't believe that's the tiny little puppy who was wandering around on a beach here is now living in rural England having the time of her life <laughs> when we first met Lottie Honestly, I just fell in love with her. We didn't go with the intentions of adopting her. We drunkenly said one night before we went, oh, imagine if we ended up adopting one of the dogs from Miles Land. I didn't actually dare tell Johnny that I wanted her because I'm scared he'd be like, no, we can't do that. But yeah, when we got back to the hotel, I was like, I need her. And he agreed and totally said the same. From start to finish, it took about four and a half months for the adoption to go through. And I must admit at one point, I genuinely didn't think she was going to come. I'd have flown out to Thailand myself if it meant I had to bring her back. It's hard, but we had jewels that did everything for us. And without jewels, we definitely, definitely wouldn't have been able to do it. So. Massive, massive thank you to Jules for that all the help. <laughs> yeah, crackers! <laughs> so the day that Lottie set off on her journey was awful. <laughs> Not so much for her, just for me. I cried and cried so, so much. I was um, tracking a fly every single minute I could. Um, we actually went out for a couple of drinks that night and I was sat in the local bar literally in floods of tears watching the fly set off. But then once I knew she'd landed in France, I could kind of breathe a little bit. So we pulled up, walked over to the van and I could see a little face in the crate and oh god, it honestly makes me want to cry now. <laughs> Oh, but the love she had and the love we had for her was just instant. She came straight to us. Uh, she played, we took a little teddy, she was playing with it, we were feeding her little sausages, giving her water, had a little walk around the car park and it was almost like we'd had her forever. You're so cheeky Mrs Latte, why am I in the back and you're in the front? When she got home we just like obviously let her have a little sniff around, a little play, a little bit of an explore. I was adamant she's never seen stairs in her life, which I'm not sure if she has, but she ran up them and I was like, oh no, she can't get down. And obviously she did, she ran straight down them. Honestly, it was like she'd always been here. It was just amazing, amazing, amazing. She's gonna flop on you. This is it. Oh, oh God. Yay! Yay! 
So a latte, what does she mean to us? She means the world and more to us. She's completed us as a family. I think she has so much love to give because of Niall, everybody up at the land, all the volunteers, Caroline, the foster, Jules, just everybody. So I really feel like she's felt the love from everyone. So she has so much more to give back. Being a little street puppy that was dumped, if it wasn't for all these people, we wouldn't have her, which breaks my heart to think anything bad happening to her but I honestly I just feel so lucky that we've had this chance to rescue and I honestly urge anybody if they're thinking of doing it rescue it's the most rewarding feeling ever the amount of love that you get from this dog is just unreal she's perfect in every single way and I honestly can't thank everybody enough for allowing us to have Lotte um, but yeah it's just been the best feeling ever it's, it really has my, my life is complete Hi, someone happy <laughs> have you got Zoomy? Okay.